And so day gives way to night, and night to day, all through the working week. But then, as the sixth day draws to a close, something else begins to stir. It is the Shabbat, heralded by a blast on the ancient ram's horn. You would have the call of attention to announce the Shabbat, just a single long blast. And as people heard this, they knew Shabbat was coming. So when the workers are out in the field, they're never taken by surprise. As sunset approaches, everyone leaves their work and prepares to welcome in the Shabbat, or Sabbath. As sun sets on Friday evening, and all of us can put behind us the working week that we just labored so hard, we come to the table, and me, as the mother of the house, I light the Sabbath lamps. As I bless the Sabbath and I invite God's presence to be with us, we are dedicating the next 24 hours to be one with Him, to give Him ourselves whole and complete. As soon as three stars appear in the sky, we say blessings as we light the Shabbat lamps, break bread, and drink wine. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min ha'aretz. Vayhi erev, vayhi voker, yom ha-shishi, vayhalu ha-shmayim ve-ha'aretz v'chol tzeva'am, ויחה אלוהים ביום השביעי מלך תור אשר עשה during the Shabbat, the Sabbath, we celebrate God's rest from His perfect creation. The commandment of God about the Sabbath, it says, Zachor et Yom HaShabbat Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. 